Hey everybody, it's Robin and welcome to my channel. Today on the Robin's Nest, I have another super awesome baby shark cake to share with you guys. I do already have a couple of pretty cool ones on my channel, except this time we are making 3D sharks, some absolutely adorable little fishies, and a really cool double wave cake topper. There is lots to do, so let's dive right into it. All right, so for today's cake, we are starting out with three eight inch layers of yummy vanilla cake. And I'm just trimming these cake tops off with my cake leveler so that way our cake is going to stack up nice and straight. Now we're just starting with a little bit of icing on our cake board to attach our cake with so that way it doesn't slide around on us and it's gonna keep everything nice and secure. Then we're gonna apply that first layer and apply a nice thick layer of buttercream using a piping bag and smoothing that out with an offset spatula. And now we're gonna stick that second layer of cake into place, give it a little press down to make sure we don't end up with any air bubbles in between our layers. And then we're gonna apply another layer of icing on top of our second cake layer. And we're gonna smooth that one out as well. And now we're gonna take that final cake layer, flip it over, place it on top and give it a good press down. All right, now time for our crumb coat. So I filled up a piping bag using some vanilla American buttercream and I'm just piping it on there, no particular fashion. And we're gonna spread it out using a small offset spatula, filling in any holes and removing any excess buttercream. All right, now we're switching over to our stainless steel bench scraper. And we're just gonna give this a quick once over and clean off that top edge. Then we're gonna stick this cake in the fridge and work on some decorations. So the very first decoration we're gonna work on is our topper, which is gonna be a really cool double wave effect made out of fondant. So to make this, as you guys can see, I have a lighter and a darker blue fondant, and I'm sort of blending those together to create sort of a gradient effect. And to achieve that, I'm just rolling it up and then rolling it out several times until I'm happy with how that looks. Now we're just going to take that strip and we're gonna roll that out and we're gonna cut it into several thinner strips. And each one of these strips, we're gonna roll them up into little snake shapes. Then we're gonna curl the lighter end and then we're going to repeat that process with each one of the snakes and then overlap each one on top of the next until we create this cool little wave pattern. And now we're just gonna repeat those steps to create another wave, which is actually gonna crash in the opposite direction. And then we're gonna attach a couple of supports to the back of each one using a toothpick and a little piece of fondant with a little dab of water to help it secure. Then we're gonna set those off to dry and start working on our other decorations. So starting with our red shark, I've rolled out a little sphere of red fondant and I've cut that in half. So we're just using half of a red sphere. So this is flat on the back. And then I've taken a little piece of white fondant, which I rolled out nice and thin, and I've overlapped that over the bottom half. Now we're taking a piece of a reddish brownish color and cutting out the shape of the mouth. And we're just gonna stick that into place. Now we are going to make some little teeth for that mouth. So I've cut out a little piece of white fondant there and we're just gonna gradually cut away little triangles until we end up with a little tiny row of triangles and that's gonna be our teeth. And we're just gonna stick those into place and now we're gonna repeat those little same steps, cutting out those little triangles until we have a little strip of triangles and that is going to be the bottom row of teeth. All right, so the next little bit that we're going to work on is the eyes, and these are just very simple circles that I'm cutting out and sticking into place. And then we're gonna switch over to a little piece of black, and then we're going to ever so carefully cut out two tiny little pupils for the eyes. Now, once we get those stuck into place, we are going to move on to the fins, and these are actually very simple. We're just cutting them out some tiny little triangles, and we're sticking one on the top and one on each side. And now Granny Shark needs her reading glasses, so we're gonna make her a little teeny tiny pair of white spectacles. Isn't she so cute? All right, now we're gonna repeat that same process for Mommy and Daddy Shark, except we're gonna do a little bit extra for those guys. We're gonna add a little tiny tail that we're gonna stick out of the top of the cake to make it look like they're diving. But for Baby Shark and Grandpa Shark, we're gonna make them full size with a full length tail, so that way we can make it look like they're swimming around the cake. All right, now that we finished with our little family of sharks, it's time to work on some of the underwater 
details. So starting with some seaweed, I've rolled out a piece of green fondant and we're just cutting out some long triangle shapes and twisting those up and then we're just laying them out to dry in that shape. And you're just gonna make a whole bunch of these to go all the way around the cake. And these work up so quick and easy so it shouldn't take you long to make a bunch of them. All right, well, those are off drying. Now it is time to make some adorable little goldfish. Just some teeny tiny little ones too. These are gonna be a little bit difficult to make though because they are really small, but they are gonna be so cute. So they're gonna be so worth it, I promise. So you're just gonna take a light piece of orange bonnet and you're gonna roll these out into tiny teardrop shapes. Now we're gonna take a piece of darker orange fondant and we're going to attach that to the tapered end, flatten it out, and then we're going to cut out the tail shape using our X-Acto knife. And now I'm just going to mold it a little bit and give it another little press just to make sure it's secured really well because we don't want our tails to fall off. And then you're going to repeat that same process with the rest of our tiny little fish until they're all done. Now once we've gotten our tails into place, we're going to give these little guys some fins. And we're going to do one on each side of the body and one on the top of the head. And we're going to make two of them sort of swimming upright and facing forward. And then a couple of them are going to be swimming sideways. So we have a little bit of variation. And then we're going to finish them off with some cute little fishy faces. And now for some of our simpler undersea creatures, we're going to start with some tubular coral. And these are just tiny little snakes with holes in them. And I've clustered those together and made several. And now we're making some little pink starfish using my little star fondant cutter. And we're also going to make a lettuce coral out of a couple of different colors. And I'm just creating those by punching out little circles, scrunching those together, and then attaching two or three together to make one. And those are just a few super easy to make little sea creatures, but you can go ahead and make whatever little creatures your heart desires. All right, now it's time for that final coat of icing. So we're going for a deep sea look. We want that illusion of depth. So I'm going with a dark blue on the bottom and a light blue on the top. And I'm just using a piping bag to pipe a nice, thick, even layer all over my cake. Then I'm taking a small offset spatula, smoothing the top of my cake first. Then I'm sort of blurring the line between the light and the dark blue to sort of mix it together a little bit. And then taking a metal bench scraper and finally going around the outside of the cake several times until I'm happy with how smooth it looks. Now once I get it all smooth and all the air bubbles are filled in, we're going to take our bench scraper and clean off that top lip. So to do that, we're just going to take gentle stroking motions inward from the outer edge towards the center, wiping off your bench scraper between every stroke. Then we're going to pop that puppy in the fridge to firm up so we don't mess it up when we're adding our decorations. All right, guys, now for the fun part, we get to watch it all come together. So starting with my topper, I've picked the placement of that first. Then we're going to kind of place everything else all around it. Next, we are going to work on the placement of our sharks because I want to make sure these are spaced out nicely. I don't want them to look cluttered or to cluster together. And then we're going to move on to our tiny little fish and then all of our other little sea creatures. Well guys, this has been such a super cute and fun little cake to make for you. And I'm so excited to hear about what you think. Now, as I said at the start of the video, and as some of you already know, I do have a couple of baby shark cakes on my channel already, which I will link for you guys up above or down below, one or the other. But I think this one has definitely been my favorite. It definitely takes the cake. It just, it is so animated and so colorful and it's just so fun. And it's got a lot going on too, so it's hard not to look at it and be amused. So I really hope you guys like it and I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that big thumbs up button and leave me lots of love in the comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.